welcome and uh, we were discussing the starting of three phase induction motor what are the problems and how to avoid those problems uh, the thing is that if an induction motor uh, it has got a rated voltage as we know if you just uh, directly connect it to the supply, then it is called full voltage starting or DOL starting direct on line. That is the uh, motor is there and you straight away connect the supply. In simplified diagram it looks like this rated voltage here, rated voltage and uh, here is the rotor of the induction motor cage rotor say because in wound rotor induction motor this uh, is uh, the motor can be started uh, keeping in view that you connect some rotor terminals are available. So, you connect some external resistance in the rotor circuit slip ring machine slip ring or for slip ring or wound rotor induction motor, wound rotor induction motor. What you do is this, uh, this is the stator and this is the uh, rotor suppose and in the rotor you connect uh, external resistances that we can connect because the rotor terminals are available. Ganged resistance their values can be varied together. So, initially put some uh, apply full voltage across the stator full voltage rated voltage, but keep this resistance to some uh, value which will limit the starting current because in the equivalent circuit R 2 dash plus R 2 external dash will come therefore, the current at starting and at starting you always remember A is equal to 1. So, so, you have increased the impedance of the motor seen by the supply therefore, current drawn will be can be controlled at the time of starting. At the same time uh, starting torque is expected to rise also. So, it is called uh, rotor resistance starter for slip ring induction motor. However, for cage induction motor you cannot do such a thing because uh, rotor terminals are not available and uh, uh, the methods uh, the current drawn if you apply full load uh, supply at S equal to 1 current drawn will be many times higher than the full load current. In my last class I told how to estimate the value of the full load current from the nameplate rating of the motor. So, the starting current could be 8 to 12 times or maybe still higher 15 times higher than the rated currents depending upon the machine. So, that gives you an indication. So, so, so current drawn at the time of starting if full voltage is applied is very large and which may uh, be detrimental to the health of the motor if it is a large induction motor as well as there will be problem because certain suddenly if you are drawing such a large current from the supply other uh, consumers connected uh, to the bus will also get affected because momentarily there will be a voltage sag. And once again of course, once the machine picks up speed to its normal value then that current subsides and uh, once again the voltage across the terminals will be regained, but the other consumers will be affected each time you want to start a rather large induction motor and tries to start it with full supply voltage. So, that is called voltage dip problem there is a sudden voltage dip and so on and this problem assumes importance because if you have to because of your uh, use of the induction motor if you have to intermittently start and stop the motor every 15 minutes then it is objectionable 
Therefore, you must see that uh, the current drawn at the time of starting of the motor is uh, kept low. Okay. And how I can do this? It looks like if you apply a reduced voltage as at the motor terminals and then uh, as the motor picks up speed then uh, start increasing the applied voltage. So, that rated voltage is finally applied across the motor that is the idea. Now, how can I do this? One way of doing is uh, is called reactor starting reactor starting or better first I will put uh, DOL starting that is the full voltage starting this is used but for very small sized motors whose inertia is less okay DOL starting then reactor starting and then uh, oh, what is uh, called uh, auto transformer starting auto transformer starting. So, external equipment are necessary for this and this you have to connect the reactors in the circuit. So, so the first is uh, dual starting and we will compare all the starting methods there is another method I will discuss I am not writing it now. Uh, this DOL starting uh, compared to that we will see how much is the starting current reduced and once you do reduced voltage starting one thing is clear your uh, uh, torque starting torque too will be reduced because torque is proportional to voltage square. Therefore, if you reduce the voltage by half it looks like starting torque will become one fourth and so on. Therefore, we will compare the starting of three phase induction motor by reactor starting auto transformer starting and compare it with that of the DOL starting full voltage starting then it will become meaningful okay. with respect to full voltage if I have applied how much was the current run how much was the torque produced what are the ratios of this current run and torque produced in terms of other method of starting induction motor. So, so this is DOL starting Achha, one thing is so far see I have told you that uh, I, I am drawing always induction motor stator winding to be star connected is not, but uh, uh, the stator of that induction motor can be delta connected as well no problem what you ultimately need a balanced three phase current flowing through the windings. So, it does not matter whether the winding is stator or rotor connected. Now, to discuss about the starting of three phase induction motor what I am going to do is uh, I will assume assume that stator is delta connected. The reason for this will be clear, but I can only tell this much at the very beginning because there is this fourth arrangement of starting uh, is called uh, start delta starter. And uh, I would like to compare with DOL starting all of the starting methods including the start delta starter and start delta starter can only be applied if the machine is designed for delta connection that is the final uh, connection of the machine with full voltage should be delta connected. The idea is clear if you connect those windings at the time of starting uh, in delta star then voltage reduced will be by 1 by root 3 voltage across the windings therefore, that is also reduced voltage starting. And the advantage of this method is you do not require any extra thing you need not purchase like in this method you have to purchase some 
invest some money for the reactor or in this method some auto transformer you have to invest. But in star delta starter which can be only applied to the induction motors which are designed for delta connected stator for its normal operation. That is a, a, a 3 phase 440 volt hmm, uh, delta connected induction motor. That is in normal operation delta connected 440 volt rating of each winding will then becomes 440 volt rated voltage. you have to apply line to line 440 volt for this kind of machine. So, uh, so that I can do that it is not necessary that you assume delta connected uh, stator to explain uh, what happens in reactor starting and auto transformer starting only it is not necessary star connection also same conclusion you will be reached. But if you want to then you have to, uh, but uh, this method puts a condition that the normal operation must be uh, with delta connected stator and the rating of the machine based on that delta connection. Then to embrace all these starting methods under one umbrella, it is better you start with assume that the delta connected. So, the e e your connection diagram will be like this. stator is delta connected I will assume and it is suppose a cage induction motor. Rotor. And I will apply here the rated voltage. So, I am discussing first DOL starting DOL starting direct on line. Eh? direct on line full voltage starting. So, I will apply V rated line to line I will apply and I will estimate at starting that is S equal to 1 how much is the starting current taken by the machine. See the equivalent circuit per phase suggests that at S equal to 1 the impedance offered is least and that is that corresponds to block rotor condition as if rotor is still not rotating and that impedance that is in the equivalent circuit if you see it will be like this. this will be only R 2 dash no external resistance only inherent resistance R 1 x 1 x 2 dash. Okay, there is a parallel branch with high impedance compared to this value we also neglect that uh, what is the point because this current is uh, with full rated voltage here applied per phase which in this case is V rated itself. line to line voltage is the phase voltage and this is the starting current in the winding is not that will be the thing. But uh, my goal will be how to calculate the starting current drawn from the supply because this this magnitude of current is important because uh, it is going to hamper the other consumers is not line current drawn from the supply. So, anyway Therefore, you we can easily see uh, if I write this current if I call it as I starting eh? I starting winding or phase this will be simply V rated because per phase voltage is V rated divided by this impedance. This impedance let me call it Z S C. As I told you it is like a short circuit case of a transformer that is why it is called Z S C. You could write Z B L also like that, but it is not really block rotor is blocked 
rotor is free to run, you are applying full voltage, it will quickly uh, start running, I mean like that. But impedance offered at t equal to 0, I am closing this switch and my focus is at that time, around that time when you switch on motor has not yet started running, how much is the current run? Because that causes the problem with the supply and with the machine. So, J dash C is this impedance, you can think of like that, A is equal to 1. So, this is I stator winding is this. Then I starting line let us write a very big suffix to understand what we are really calculating. It will be root 3 times the I starting winding, winding or phase whatever you call it and this then will become root 3 B rated by J dash C this will be the current clear. So, I starting current will be this current I note it down Achha, how much will be the torque produced starting torque T starting T starting torque we know it is equal to P A G in synchronous watt if I like you divide by 2 pi n s that is ok. So, it is air gap power and air gap power is nothing but this current square this is the I starting winding is not this current is this. So, so this will be 3 this current square that is I starting winding squared into R 2 dash by S which is equal to 1 that is at starting we know rotor copper loss is the torque produced. Therefore, this will be this magnitude total starting torque and this if you substitute uh, this as 3 into this current square that is uh, root 3 by V rated by J dash C whole square into R 2 dash you know this will be the starting current torque starting torque 3 is because of 3 phase total power. So, this this is the value of the starting torque starting line current is this one current drawn from the supply and what is the torque motor produces. So, this is the uh, DOL starting summary. Now, I will say that I will adopt the second method that is the reactor starting. So, what will be this? This will be 2 reactor starting. what is done is this, this is the supply after the supply in the three lines you connect some reactors. And here is your supply. So, in series uh, with the line you connect this and this is your induction motor which I have assumed as you know delta connected 
and here is the rotor of the machine. and these are connected here. Okay. And these reactors uh, can be varied together, so that it remains balanced all the time and there is some reactance you have connected in series with the line and here is your V rated line to line, V rated line to line voltage is present here. Therefore, if you close this switch V rated is here some current. So, current will now be limited not only by the, the this equivalent impedance parameter whatever is Z S C which is connected in uh, delta, but also uh, by this reactance is not I have simply uh, increase the impedance seen by the supply that is what I have to do to limit the current drawn from the supply and this current I am telling now I starting okay, line line current with uh, uh, reactor and this is the current per phase which I am calling it as I starting reactor. This is the thing. Now, if this is V rated x you have connected some reactance here the line voltage between across the machine terminal will be less than V rated let by which it is reduced is x V rated. Because after all balanced reactants I have connected. So, R m s value here and R m s value here will be different magnitude of the voltage is important, but nonetheless here there will be balanced three phase voltage whose value is reduced is that clear. So, x v rated is the line to line voltage applied here, here also it is x v rated. This small x is the setting of the reactor, it is it can vary from 0 to 1, when small x is 1 means no reactor is connected is not. If small x is 0 0.5 I mean that reactor is connected in such a way that half of the rated voltage will come across the machine terminal. So, R m s voltage applied across the machine is reduced by a factor of small x. This x has nothing to do with this external reactor. Uh, I mean uh, it has to do with that external reactors not, not the reactance value which may be denoted by capital X. X is the number between 0 to 1 and I told you x equal to 1 means no reactance and so on. And x equal to 0 means infinitely large reactance you have connected because it is open circuit then. Anyway, so this is the thing. Now, I my target is to estimate what will be the I starting line it is very simple algebraic calculation and I can do it in one stroke reactor with reactor connected. I will say this connect will, will be this is I starting winding current no this is winding current. So, so it will be root 3 times this current and what is this current? this will be x v rated by z s c, z s c is the impedance. Here it was v rated by z s c, because you applied v rated voltage by z s c, but here you are applying simply less voltage x v rated by z s c, this will be the current. 
is that clear the, so this is i starting line reactor current this much current it will be drawing and what will be the value of starting torque it will be air gap power now air gap power means this current squared into r2 dash so, this current square winding current squared. So, this current square is how much is uh, x v I am writing in one stroke v dated by z s c this is the winding current this squared into r 2 dash by 1 into 3. that will be the starting current in the reactor. Now, let me write just below it here I starting d o l I starting line current d o l we have calculated earlier it was root 3 V dated by Z S C and we also calculated starting torque d o l full voltage starting as 3 3 i 2 dash squared r 2 dash 1 and uh, t starting d o l uh, we have calculated I will just correct it if something was see T starting uh, d o l I am rewriting there is some most probably mistake here it will be 3 winding current square that is I starting winding r 2 dash squared into r 2 dash, but I starting winding was only v dated is not. So, this was wrongly written. So, please uh, previous page. So, it will be V dated by Z S C squared into R 2 dash is not. So, so this will become T starting D O L is V dated by Z S C squared into r 2 dash this is the thing. So, the, the last one is take the ratio. So, I starting line by d o l method divided by I starting line reactor method if you do I think you make it other way around I starting line reactor by I starting line d o l this ratio simply becomes x this by this x remains and t starting uh, reactor divided by t starting d o l will simply becomes this by this means x square. So, uh, the final conclusion is if you connect reactors current will be reduced by a factor of x, x is the number between 0 to 1 as I told you and, and starting torque will be reduced by a factor of x square. So, if you make like x equal to half okay, current drawn from the supply compared to d well starting will become 50 percent no doubt half, but starting torque also will be reduced by a factor of 1 by 4 times it will be reduced. We will continue with this. Thank you.